Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing today? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about unconditional love, the purest form of love, soul health, growth, prosperity, all good, good things. Today, I will be doing a message as it resonates for a twin flame, soulmate, divine love, fated connection, however you reconcile this beautiful gift in your precious heart. I do everything from a masculine perspective, what's in the masculine's heart space as of the moment. If they could say anything to their beautiful divine counterpart, what would it be? And the overall energy of this beautiful collective group of love. So I'm going to get started here. Last yesterday, last evening, wherever you are throughout the world was a full moon. Full moon energy can be very tough energy. It can lead to some restlessness and sleeplessness, but we're kind of, it can, it can linger a couple days before and a couple days after. So if you're feeling very restless, it could be that full moon energy. But what the full moon energy also does is it allows you to release and purge some dark, low vibrational energy. So with the masculine, what's kind of going on with them at this moment in time is they did a lot of releasing and a lot of purging, I want to say, within the last 24 hours. And divine feminine energy, merely just energy, you may have felt that purge or that release, which triggers you to do the same. But what this masculine was releasing was their, for much of their I want to say time traveling in in their journey of life they wrestled with this self-worth this is a systemic from childhood there could have been a uh, bullying going on as young young uh, child or it could have been from a person of authority but it really truly compromised their self-worth in their journey of life well they have purged and released that and stepped into this unconditional love of oneself. I also want to say that they're stepping into divine feminine energy. Now this journey is about recalibrating and balancing your energy to get to that healthy balance of each yin yang energy, masculine feminine energy, and you know so there's cert certain energies that we lack that we need to come into. So I feel like the masculine energy is stepping into the feminine parts of themselves and that's allowing them to come into this unconditional love of oneself, but ultimately of you as well. They're also very, very energetically connected to the, the divine feminine within themselves, but also to their divine counterpart. So they're very, very... I want to say you're very, very aligned energetically in a good way, and it's in a loving way. So there may have been some rather uncomfortable energy, but it's released and purged, and that's what the the full moon does. It's it's beautiful how it can just allow us to just shed some uncomfortable energy that we've been carrying around for much of our life. Shedding the self worth challenges is huge. Because sometimes when you're in that low vibration, you can't see the light of oneself. So shedding that opens up a beautiful portal to this masculine energy. And they're stepping into feminine energy, which is beautiful because it's nurturing, it's loving, such beautiful, beautiful energy. If they could say anything to their divine counterpart as of this moment, what would it be? And it would be basically they want to say that they have been at a crossroad crossroads with their life at this present moment in time and it always is systemic of this self-worth and it creates huge challenges and obstacles in this particular masculine's life but they want you to know that they're breaking free and of all of these challenges all of these crossroads they see this shimmering light within themselves of unconditional love and forgiveness. And they want you to know that. They also want to know you to know that they are 
they really truly want to come in with an offer. Now, it could be just an offer a communication, a simple hello, how are you doing? Just checking up to see how, you know what you've been up to lately. It's, they are really being pushed to come to you with some form of an offer. And it is absolutely beautiful and they want you to know that. And they've been thinking about you constantly. You're, you're vice versa. This is a very, very difficult love journey. It unravels you. It leaves you vulnerable and just sometimes you're, you're weak at the knees, so to speak. And they're really, truly being pushed by, I want to say God, source, divine, universe, however you resonate to make an offer to their counterpart. And it's likely because they're stepping into this feminine energy and they remove that, that darkness of the self-worth. They never felt worthy of your love. They never felt worthy of you. And this full moon energy helped them shed that uncomfortable low vibrational energy. It's so beautiful. If they could say another couple of things to you, what would it be? And ultimately, I know we are divinely protected. This love is divine. It is protected. You know, sometimes you go through rather uncomfortable energy, dark night of the soul, um, anger, bitterness, why the breadcrumbing, you know, it's, it is, it's not, I want to say a journey for the meek. It, it really, it turns you inside and out, but you've been selected on a divine journey to get to the light of oneself, raise the vibration within yourself and ultimately many in the world because we operate in a low, vibra low vibration. And what a beautiful gift you've been given. Also, they want you to know that I dream of us building a life together 100% uh, as they step into this beautiful feminine energy. They're just, it's just opened up so many doorways and portals and just allowing them to see the light of your love. And they've been yearning for you their entire life, that sense of longing is gone. So when you come into each other in the physical realm, there's this, 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 I don't know, you've been kind of like yearning throughout your lifetime. Like there's, you, you felt karmic love before you've, you've done this, but there's just this sense of there's something missing. When you come into each other, that yearning is gone. It is like you're, you, you feel like you've, come home so to speak and there's no like yearning it's like I found I found my person beautiful 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 but they also want you to know that you've rattled my soul I'm terrified and I'm a mess because this is not voluntary this is forced and you go through a se sequence of events a series of events and it can be very very frightening and that could is known as a spiritual awakening and it is frightening but the reward at the end is the most liberating because we are as human beings institutionalized in a third dimensional world and i don't feel like this institutional institutional world wants the soul to wait awaken because when a, a soul awakens it awakens to much knowledge, wisdom, and gifts. So it can be very, very frightening, and they want you to know that. As many of you know, with the spiritual awakening, usually, um, if this is your journey, you'll go through a complete kundalini activation. And those are known as the body connections. And it's, it's located at the root and the crown and from the base of the spine, obviously, to the top of the head. There is really no right or wrong way to navigate through this activation, purification, and cleansing process. It's whatever you are going through in your life at that moment in time. So I feel like when this divine love, when you come into each other, you automatically open up the third eye. And that's the intuition and the wisdom and all sorts of seeing things more clearly than what you've ever seen before. But today, the body connection or chakra 
that is opening or requires some purification and cleansing is the root chakra. And it's located at the base of the spine. It forms our foundation. It governs our understanding, grounding, and connectedness to the physical world. When developed, it brings us health, prosperity, security, and dynamic presence. Now, if you feel this, this pain in the lower part of your back, obviously at the base of the spine, then listen to the root chakra. I'll put this up within my video. Focus on the color red. You owe yourself at least five minutes, three times a day, just to breathe, recalibrate, and clear the rubbish of thought in your mind. Mostly, it takes time, most of the time it takes longer than five minutes, but do it for a minimum of five. The more you do it, the more effective it is. So very, very, very good. And what I like about this is when it's developed, it brings health, prosperity, security, and dynamic presence. So, <coughs> excuse me, beautiful, beautiful message. What's the overall message of this beautiful, dynamic collective group of souls and it is unconditional love keeps coming to the forefront and you have this unconditional love for each other unconditional love is at the soul level the soul level isn't visible to the to the human eye so it's very it's very difficult to sometimes grapple this unconditional love but unconditional love is, I feel, the purest form of love. It's at the soul level, and it's loving freely without ask nor condition. Sometimes we do put conditions on it. Sometimes we get upset. Sometimes we get bitter. We get angry. It's natural to go through these emotions. That's clearing. That's removing the layers and getting to your pure, authentic self. So unconditional love is so so here in in this collective right now i want to talk about balancing totally resonates kind of with what the masculine is going on going through right now with bring stepping into the feminine energy and balancing the masculine and feminine energy that is a beautiful beautiful step momentum forward so very very good um if you're feeling a little out of sorts and out of balance I always say get out to nature, put your feet on the ground, barefoot if you can, in grass. It, the ground has a natural way just to take whatever energy that is uncomfortable and it just, believe it or not, the ground just kind of sucks the energy right out of your feet and get by water, have an Epsom salt bath, meditate, just balance, recalibrate that energy. Also too, you may be having some dreams of like a past life connection. And I know myself per personally, because I am too on this journey, and by the grace of God, we are back in physical harmony after a physical separation in the third dimensional world. I was having strange, bizarre dreams. And we were, there was, it was like we were a caveman and a cave woman. And my divine counterpart was building a wheelbarrow out of wood. And I, it was reoccurring. But the, and, and physically it didn't look like us, but spiritually and soulfully, we loved each other to the core. And I realized quickly um, throughout, like early on in, in the journey, that this was a past life connection and our love stemmed over lifetime over lifetime. So you may be having these obscure dreams and how do you know? Well, there's this, in, within the dream, you, ha, you share this, the, the purest, rawest form of love. So I feel like you're coming to this like wisdom and knowledge of past life connection. And ultimately, there's victory. You know, we all navigate at our own speed. We all, you know, there's some people that run a lot more quickly than, you know, you do. And, and our journey is all, we navigate at our own speeds. You know, there's some people that are in physical separation, you know, for years. There's some that, you know, are lucky to be, you know, a few months. Although I don't know as if you could purify, cleanse and get to that, uh, I want to say wholeness within 
in a few months. But again, it's all divinely orchestrated, so I'm not here to say what's right or wrong. And there is victory usually always on the horizon for the both of you if you follow that call within your intuition, your inner guide, and chase the light within yourself and push away the darkness. Darkness is a natural part of this journey. It's a natural part of life. But we don't want to stay in a perpetual state of darkness. We have to acknowledge that and come and bring ourselves back to the light. But ultimately, there's victory. And one of the, the biggest victories is purifying and getting back to that wholeness, wholeness and completeness and pure, I want to say true, authentic soul. So I love that also very much. As many of you know, signs, sinks, serendipity, I'm smiling here as I say this, are part of your day to day and you're not looking for them. They just come as a gentle reminder to give you a sign when sometimes you're feeling troubled, down, sad, is this real? Is this a fabrication? These signs are little, I want to say, angels that come to you to remind you that this is definitely your divine counterpart. And they can come by way of numbers. They can come by way of just anything. The same vehicle that your counterpart drives, the, someone that looks like it, music. There's all sorts of signs that will come to you. Animals are one of those too. And today, the feminine animal spirit message is Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. And it is truly, truly fitting for the energy and the that's kind of circula circulating around your orbit right now with the full moon and releasing and time to let go of some bitterness, some anger. Um, if you're having self-worth challenges yourself, it's time to let it go. You're beautiful. You are absolutely 100% beautiful. And you, you are loved unconditionally. So let anything go that's not making you feel that love and light within. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The masculine animal spirit message today is hummingbird spirit, be here now. Now, being in the, here in the now is so, so important because when we go to the future, sometimes it creates anxiety. When we go to the past, it creates depression. Focus on the beauty of now. Be here and be like here now. And you will free yourself of some depression and anxiety. Just enjoy and savor the moment love it all so much and the overall energy of this beautiful collective is peacock spirit let it shine 100 percent. show your light shine you are a disciple of love you've been selected on one of the most beautiful journeys of a lifetime not everyone understands it some people will come in and interfere tell you, you know, you're, this is a fabrication, this and that. There's no greater vibration than love. And love is the highest vibration. So keep vibing high. Let it shine. You know, there's always going to be these people that are interfering, parasites, whatever they are, because they don't have the gift that you have within your heart. And that is unconditional love. And that's what I have for your beautiful souls today. I'm going to put up a fundraiser for Hope Unite. Beautiful movement, helping others get out of some darkness. Like, you know, we may be lucky to get to the light of oneself, but there's some people that just are plagued with darkness and it's really, really troublesome and hard for them to get out. So this is a very good movement, offers beautiful resources, to, you know, for people to, to seek help in, in times of crisis. All it takes is $1 or $2 to truly change someone's life. Just for a simple cup of coffee, you could really, truly help someone. So, you know, give it a whirl. Like, just check it out. It's such a good movement. Like I said, donate if you can. 
love it and also to check out my new channel that i've been working on a breath of humanity not too much content there the website has more i do offer coaching sessions for anyone um, in need of you know just an ear sometimes a sympathetic ear or you know i have some guides to help you get to the light and as always have a beautiful beautiful day